Joining us now to talk about this historic eclipse, let's bring in Devin Ferrara, assistant professor of physics at Belmont University. And good morning to you. Um, there's so many questions from the science side of this. Why is the eclipse so important and getting so much uh, attention? Good morning. Uh, the, the, the eclipse is important because it's going from one coast of the country to the next. That's a lot of people that's going to be in the path to possibly see this once in a lifetime event. Eclipses happen about once every 18 months around the world, but the last time it went from coast to coast in the U.S. was about 99 years ago. Mm -hmm. So why? But this one is such a big event, I think, because I remember as a, as a kid in the 70s, we had one um, that was 1979. But this eclipse today is getting so much more attention because I think the viewing area across the U.S. seems to be larger. Is that correct? That is correct. There's, there's a lot more uh, people that's going to be able to see this. Uh, and the, the eclipse coming in 2024 goes from Texas to the Great Lakes, it, so it's a much smaller path. This is definitely a bigger event. You know, there's a, a lot of coverage as well about people that need to be careful. I mean, we've got the glasses here. I'm holding them here on set. But you have to wear these glasses, even though, as our meteorologist pointed out, it's going to be dark. You have to wear the glasses. We're hearing reports that ERs are getting ready for a lot of visits today from those that might have some eye damage. What would you tell people to make sure that they're safe today when they watch the eclipse? Be very careful. We do not have pain receptors on the retina. So if you are damaging your retina because you're looking at the bright sun, you're not going to know it until it's too late. So definitely make sure you wear your glasses um, before and after the uh, after totality. If you're in an area with partial, uh, uh, that, that's an area of a partial eclipse, make sure to keep them on the whole time. Um, during the, at the height of maximum eclipse, during the totality, you can take your glasses off but you have to be very careful to keep putting them back on before the moon moves off of the sun. All right, that's very good advice. Real quick before we let you go, where are you going to be uh, for the eclipse today? I'll be at Belmont watching it with about 100 high school students and uh, several thousand Belmont students. Oh, that's going to be fun. It's a good, it's a good excuse to not go to school today, by the way. Uh, Dan sure Ferraro, we certainly appreciate the, uh, the information. It's, it's a great, it's an interesting story. Thank you, sir. Thank you.